Hey, what's going on everyone? Monado Max here. And I am in a lot of pain. I, I am in so much pain. I am so sore. I know that I shouldn't be talking about this in this GameCube video that we're doing, but I am so sore. I'm surprised that I'm able to stand up. I'm a little wobbly if you can't tell. So I've been streaming my Ring Fit Adventure streams. It's been funny on the Twitch because I'm on this full force diet and um, I've been streaming my ring fits and I did one two days ago. It was pretty brutal for me. <laughs> Everything, my whole body, sides, both of my thighs really hurt. That's where, hurt's a strong word. It, they're very sore. I have almost lost my balance walking multiple times because of just how sore I am. But you guys don't care, you guys don't care. You guys are here to figure out what GameCube games that I want on the Nintendo Switch. If you guys have not paid attention to what I've been making over the past few days, I have made a prediction we're going to see more GameCube games come over to the Nintendo Switch because of Metroid Prime Remaster and how it was done. Uh, and there's also just a lot of evidence of more GameCube remasters coming to the Switch. So I think it'd be cool to do a top 10 list of the games that I want from the GameCube over over to the Nintendo Switch. So I have come up with this amazing list of GameCube games. And I would like to know your guys' list, and if you agree with my list as we go through it. Well, let's go ahead and start with number 10. Okay, number 10 might be a little bit of cheating. I don't know, because uh, this game didn't originate from the GameCube, but it was on the GameCube, and I feel like the GameCube versions are the most popular versions of this. And it's also a third party. This is the only third party game I'm talking about in this top 10 list, but I really want this game on the Switch, so I think it's fair to talk about it. Sonic Adventure. We need Sonic Adventure 1 or 2, both, I, I don't care, the battle version, director's cut version. We need these games on Nintendo Switch. It's crazy to me to think that the Sonic Adventure series has been on GameCube. That was the last time the adventure games were ported over to a Nintendo console was the GameCube. Sega has been re-releasing so many Sonic games, 3D Sonic games in particular, like Sonic Colors, uh, Sonic... What other Sonic games have they done? They're probably doing Sonic Unleashed. They've re-released a lot of these 3D Sonic games, Sonic Lost World on PC. Probably gonna put that on Switch. My whole point is, is they were re-releasing all these 3D Sonic games, but they're not going to the ones that people really want, and that's Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure 2 is a masterpiece game. I have not played much of Sonic Adventure 1, to be honest with you, but Sonic Adventure 2, I own that on my GameCube. I should have brought my copy out here with me. But Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is amazing. The Chow Garden is amazing. I mean, you guys can make a full-on game just based off Chow Garden. And, I mean, the fact that the Minecraft Sonic mode has Chow Garden should show how popular Chow Garden is. It's time to re-release these games. I think people would want a remake of this rather than a new Sonic game, to be completely honest. So hopefully, Sega, if you're out there, you'll re-release these games because you guys re-release so many things, but when it comes to the adventure games, you're like, hmm, I don't know, should we re-release this? Because that's easy money for you guys. And I think it'd be the perfect game to come over to the Nintendo Switch. And it's a GameCube game, so we're counting it. So for number 10, I'm putting both Sonic Adventure games down because I really want those games on the Switch. All right, coming in number nine is a pretty safe bet considering all the rumors and all that, but I still would like to play this game considering all the hype behind this game and how amazing this game is according to many people. And that's F-Zero GX. So obviously they're not gonna make a new F-Zero game anytime soon. There is rumors that the next Nintendo console is going to have an F-Zero game. A brand new one, not a remake or anything like that. So that's pretty exciting. But it's time to have some sort of F-Zero game on the Switch, and what better way to just re-release, or in a remastered format, similar how you guys did in Metroid Prime, uh, is make F-Zero GX remastered. That would be the perfect game, release it for 40 bucks, people could get in love with the F-Zero series, that is one of the more popular F-Zero games. A lot of people would love that game on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> you know, Sega made that one. It's kind of crazy. We're talking about another Sega game. It's kind of crazy to think that Nintendo and Sega came together to make F-Zero GX because that's like a perfect combination for the type of game the F-Zero series is. So, yeah, I think it's time we see some sort of F-Zero game on the Switch. And re-releasing GX would be perfect, and I hope they do what basically they did with Metroid Prime Remastered. That game looks beautiful. Imagine they did the same detail that they did in Metroid Prime Remastered over on F-Zero GX. Uh, dude, 
it'd be awesome. It would be incredible. I am so pumped for that, and uh, it's already rumored that that's coming out this year. So I guess we'll find out eventually. But for number nine, I want F-Zero GX on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, coming in number eight, this one I think is kind of a tricky one. I don't know if it's fair to put this one in the list either, because I don't think I would want the GameCube version of this game on the Switch. Uh, but I'm talking about Zelda Twilight Princess. I have already played a majority of Wind Waker, and uh, I am fine if they don't want to put Wind Waker on the Switch. But I have not played much of Twilight Princess. And Twilight Princess, I played Twilight Princess HD. Uh, I stopped playing it just because so much was happening with the YouTube channel. It was starting to blow up. Uh, I really liked what I played with Twilight Princess. And I would like to play that on the Switch, on the go, because the Switch is such an amazing system to go on the go uh, with that on the go experience. Uh, I just, I don't know. I would, I think these are safe bets to have Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD come to the Switch eventually. So, I mean, I would like the HD versions, but if they're going to do the GameCube versions, that's fine too. Uh, it doesn't make sense for them to do the GameCube versions. I don't know if that's cheating talking about that since I want the HD versions on the Switch, but that's what I want. I think it'd be really cool if they put that on the Switch, especially considering uh, if they put both of those games on the Switch, the Switch would technically have all the Zelda games when it comes to the 3D Zelda games on one console. Because if you go with the virtual console or whatever we're calling that with the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack, you have Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time on them. And then if you put Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, that's the final two games that we're missing because we already have Breath of the Wild, we already have Skyward Sword HD. Uh, we would have every mainline 3D Zelda game on the Switch, and that would be pretty cool to flex. That would be awesome. So, Nintendo, put that on the Switch. Everyone would like that, especially with how expensive Twilight Princess HD is becoming. Last time I checked, that was over $100 on the Wii U. Ridiculous that that game is going up in that value. Uh, it's probably just because it's one of the few games that, oh my gosh, almost fell because of Ring Fit. It's probably because the game is so valuable because it's one of the few games that Nintendo has not ported from the Wii U over to the Switch. So, Nintendo, get on it. Coming in number seven, I want the rest of the Metroid Prime series. They re-released Metroid Prime 1. I have a hard time believing that there is not some part of them that was developing 2 and 3 for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Hey guys, Coleman here. Um, so Max said that Metroid Prime 3 is a GameCube game, or at least he alludes to it throughout this entire section. And as you can see here, it's actually a Wii game. It never came out for the GameCube. This is just further proof that your favorite Nintendo YouTuber actually is a sham and does not play video games at all whatsoever. Don't listen to him. He's an idiot. And um, just know Editor Coleman's got your back. It's a Wii game. It's not a GameCube game. Don't listen to him. Evil. Evil! Evil! I think that's gonna be a huge missed opportunity if Nintendo does not put two and three on the Switch, considering that we're getting four at some point on the Switch, and the Metroid Prime Remastered has been highly praised that it just makes sense to put two and three on the Switch. I, part of me is thinking that two and three is already done, and they're just doing separate releases to make the most money possible. Because they'll do $40 here, $40 for two, $40 for three, that's $120 that Metroid is making for Nintendo compared to just releasing all one package for $60. That's what I'm hoping Nintendo's doing. I'm hoping that's what they're doing. Because to me, it's weird that Nintendo was so okay with just re-releasing one of their most popular GameCube games for 40 bucks when Nintendo always releases their games for $60. I refuse to believe they were like, hmm, we're gonna price this for $40 because we care about the fans. No, they care about money. I have a feeling they did it this way because they can make more money and no one's gonna complain and yeah. I'm on to you Nintendo, but please put two and three on the Switch. Every Metroid Prime game would be on the Switch if they could get two and three on there. Uh, since we got four coming and I guess, I mean, never mind, we don't have Metroid Prime Federation for us. I guess we wouldn't have every Nintendo or every Metroid Prime game on the Nintendo Switch anyway. So I guess just scrap the idea. Still put two and three on the Switch, please, please. That's what I want. So this is one that's coming in number six that I'm really, really surprised that they haven't even made a new one um, since the Wii. I, I thought these games were very popular 
because to me when I always played them they were really fun I don't know I don't know why they didn't do this it, this would seem to me to be make easy money for the Pokemon company but I want to see Pokemon XD Gallop Darkness on the Nintendo Switch I don't know what you would call those Pokemon games because I mean they used to be called 3D Pokemon games but we already have 3D Pokemon games now with Pokemon games being on home consoles so I don't know what you would call or describe those Pokemon games but I would like either a new one of those Pokemon games in that format or just port XD Gale of Darkness on the Switch. I own that copy too. I should have brought that over here. But I believe that one has gotten extremely valuable. That one's over a hundred bucks right now. A lot of these GameCube games are very expensive. That's why re-releasing these on the Switch would be great because people don't have to cut their leg off and sell it online to get... Pokemon XD Gallop Darkness because of how expensive that is. So I think it's time that uh, Nintendo looks into that. Or I guess I don't. I guess Nintendo wouldn't be in control of that. Game Freak, come on, uh, and stop making these mainline Pokemon games that everyone ends up hating. Go back to your spinoffs, the good spinoffs, because you guys had some great spinoffs. You had Poke Park, dude. Who remembers Poke Park? Poke Park two, Pikachu must save the first Pokemon. Imagine a new Poke Park. That would be sick. Pokemon has so much potential, but they, they're ruining it. They're ruining it. Okay, I, I want Pokemon XD Gallop Darkness though, on the Switch. It just makes sense. It, it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, coming in number five is one that I seriously, really, really, really want to play because I have seen some crazy things with this game. Coming in number five, I want Eternal Darkness. Guys, I have seen some crazy things with Eternal Darkness. I saw one scene where a guy has the TV, like they made you think that your TV was messing up when you were playing Eternal Darkness. But no, your TV did not mess up. It was actually the game doing that. This game has you making things in your mind think that's happening in, in real life, but it's actually the game, like they'll, they'll think there's glitches going on, but no, there's no glitches. It's the actual game, it's purposely doing that. Um, it, it's like such a un-Nintendo game back in the day. Uh, now it, it makes sense for Nintendo to do stuff like that. But back in the day, in the GameCube era, it did not make sense for Nintendo to make something like Eternal Darkness. And that is also another valuable GameCube game that needs to come over to the Switch. Uh, and I think it'd be perfect because Nintendo doesn't really do much in horror anymore. I, I mean, they, they have some mature games, but they're not horror games. And uh, I want to see them come back to that. Because it was pretty cool. So I want Eternal Darkness on the Switch. Uh, I mean, honestly, I think a sequel would be pretty cool. But I feel like it's possible that wouldn't sell well. So at the very least, let's just get a remaster. Okay, coming in number four. I really, really, really want this because my editor loves these games to death. I've only played one. And it was the only one that came to the Switch. And I, I want to play the rest of the games. Uh, because, yeah, I'm interested in the series. And that's the Pikmin series. Uh, I know we're talking about two games right now on number four. Uh, so I'm asking for two games in the number four slot. But I want Pikmin 1 and 2 to come to the Nintendo Switch. Pikmin 3 was a very peaceful game. I very much enjoyed playing that game. Especially when we were in the COVID pandemic. Uh, it, it was very peaceful. It was very... It was a game that was different for me. That was really nice. Uh, reminded me a lot of the Wonderful 101 in ways with how its gameplay was, and I love the Wonderful 101. So I want to play more of these Pikmin games, because we got Pikmin 4 on the way, and I mean, there's rumors about how the lore of Pikmin 4 is going to be interesting with Olimar, so I want to I wanna play these Olimar games, dude. I want to play the Olimar games. <laughs> Bring me Pikmin 1 and 2. It just makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense, because Pikmin's not the most popular franchise for Nintendo, so I don't know if that would sell well. But I don't care if it doesn't sell well, I want it. Bring it on there, bring it on the Switch. It just makes sense. Okay, number three is definitely not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, but let's just, let's pretend for a little bit. Coming in number three, I would like Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I have only played crap Paper Mario games. I have played Paper Mario Sticker Star. I have played Paper Mario, I don't even remember what the new one was called. It was that forgettable. And the new one was, oh my God, I actually thought Sticker Star was not that bad. Uh, I, I had fun with it, but you gotta remember that was my first Paper Mario game, so that's why it was good for me because I didn't play what everyone else played. So I think we need to get a good Paper Mario game 
on the Nintendo Switch. And it's time to put Thousand Year Door. Everyone loves Thousand Year Door. It's probably the most highly rated game on the GameCube, actually, when it comes to uh, games for the GameCube. When I was doing research for this video, I, everyone's top 10 videos were just like, Paper Mario, greatest game ever. Uh, I, Thousand Year Door is something, again, I would like to play, but if you look at those eBay sold listings, I don't want to play it anymore when I saw those sold listings. Yeah, I mean, I remember before, back in the day, when people went crazy because there, there was this really cool leak that turned out to be fake, but somebody managed to make this really good leak where Paper Mario Thousand Year Door uh, was coming to the new 3DS XL exclusively, and they had like gameplay footage. It looked very real, very, very real, but it was fake. Oh my gosh, almost fell again. But yeah, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door should come to the Switch because of how expensive the game is on other platforms. Well, I say other platforms, it's only on the GameCube, but it just makes sense. Nintendo, please do that because that would sell like crazy because that's what the Paper Mario fans want. They want that. They don't want Color Splash. They don't want Sticker Star, even though I like Sticker Star. They don't want... Well, what's the other Paper Mario game though? Do I have it over here? That's gonna bother me that I don't remember what that Paper Mario game is called. I know it's somewhere over here. I got too many Switch games, man. That There's a problem if I can't find a game over here. <sighs> Alright, well, I want Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Coming in Number two is something that must happen. It, it has to happen. Star Fox Assault. Star Fox Assault is one of the coolest games on the planet when it comes to the GameCube. Star Fox Assault did something very different for the Star Fox series. And I mean, I guess Star Fox Adventures did also. But Star Fox Assault really did something unique and different for the Star Fox series that was really cool and really awesome and very un-Nintendo. Uh, because it was a shooter game. Shooters in Nintendo, at the time, not much was happening there. Obviously now you got stuff like Splatoon, but at the time, none of that really existed. And Star Fox Assault would be perfect on the Switch. I honestly wouldn't mind Star Fox Adventures, but I would love Assault because that, I think, is one of the best Star Fox games of all time. And I think Star Fox deserves a really good chance on the Switch. Um, <laughs> I feel bad because every time Star Fox gets a new game, they go back to Star Fox 64. The Nintendo 3DS, guess what they ported over? Star Fox 64. Guess what Star Fox Zero was? Pretty much Star Fox 64 HD, but way worse. Uh, it was a reboot that was... <sighs> It, it was all over the place. Um, I mean, I don't think the game would have been that bad if it wasn't for the fact that they were focused so heavily on the Wii U gamepad. But, yeah, they, they were still focused on that Wii U gamepad. And that, that's why the game didn't sell well, because the controls were horrible. Uh, but I, I think Star Fox deserves another chance, whether that's a new game or a port. I mean, I think a port remaster would be perfect because it doesn't sell well. Not much money was lost for Nintendo. And uh, yeah, that, that's what I want. And I also want Star Fox to just continue. Starlink was great, but that's not a Star Fox game. So number two, I want Star Fox as well. Okay guys, coming in, number one is something that really deserves to be on the Switch that is never going to happen. But we're, we're gonna try to believe. We're gonna believe. Chibi Robo. This game deserves to be on the Switch for multiple reasons. One, Chibi Robo has not had the fairest chance on any Nintendo console uh, because anytime they made a new Chibi Robo game after Chibi Robo, it was always a new, different gameplay style that wasn't what the original one was. And uh, I know all the Chibi Robo games have never sold well, but I think that is also partially due to the fact that they always change the gameplay styles in every Chibi Robo game. Uh, there is four Chibi Robo games out there, and all of them had different gameplay styles, and it just did not work. <laughs> like Chibi Robo Ziplash, I know that's probably one of the most memed games of all time. I even have it on my shelf. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. I got the amiibo right there. Yeah, it, it's it's a memeable game. And they made Chibi Robo into a platformer when he shouldn't have been a platformer. They should have gone back to the basics of what the first Chibi Robo game was because that gameplay style was something that really wasn't done before. I, I know they said Chibi Robo is pretty much dead. I think like the former developer of the uh, Ziplash said that. But I think uh, if you gave another shot at it and re-released the first game, I think it would do decent numbers. Uh, just because it's got the original gameplay style. They ever wanted to do a new one after that re-release. They focused that gameplay style. I think it would do well. I just think Chibi Robo is in a weird spot because it has different audiences because of all the different gameplay styles that Chibi Robo has witnessed. 
witness. And that's why we've never seen a successful Chibi Robo game because they're all over the place with the games. <laughs> They've never had one format that they stuck with. That leads to have multiple fans. Like you're gonna have people that really like Ziplash that if they ever made a new Chibi Robo game, they aren't gonna like because it's not a platformer like Ziplash was. Just how a lot of people didn't like Ziplash because it wasn't the original or uh, whatever that Walmart DS one uh, that they made. They made a Chibi Robo game exclusive to Walmart. But this game should be on the Switch also just because how expensive Chibi Robo is. I think that is one of the most expensive GameCube games. Last time I checked, over $200. It's time to put these games on the Switch. Well guys, I wanna know what you guys are thinking. I personally think the GameCube is one of, if not the best first party games lineup for Nintendo because it has pretty much one of every uh, character that was used at the time. I don't know, it's hard for me to decide. I feel like the Switch is some of the best first party games, the Wii U is some of the best first party games, and GameCube. It's really hard for me to decide from those three what is the best first party lineup. But if they could put some of these GameCube games on the Switch, I think that would make the Switch an even greater system because I personally believe the Switch is the best Nintendo console, best lineup of games when it comes to Nintendo and their first party lineup, and uh, all that good stuff because the GameCube is so strong, the Wii U is so strong, the Switch is so strong when it comes to games. I just, I love all three of those consoles. I wanna hear from you though. I have been talking from way too much. Make sure to check out my Instagram in the description below. The Twitter and the Twitch, I already know I talked about it, but we're, we're streaming Ring Fit all the time, so I would love to see you guys over or there. Uh, I'm doing Ring Fit streams three times a week and then one regular stream. So you guys are getting four streams a week over at my Twitch. So I would love to see you guys there and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh man, I'm in so much pain. Oh man, I'm supposed to stream Ring Fit. Oh, by the time this video comes out, there will be a Ring Fit stream a few hours uh, after. So this is going to come out at 4 o'clock. So there's probably going to be a Ring Fit stream on my Twitch. Oh my gosh, I'm about to fall. Oh my gosh. Around 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the day this comes out. Because this is coming out on a Friday. So yeah, come by.